Hello, my name is Joe. I'm a real fan of Jean-Paul Riopelle. And today, I'd like to tell you about him and his relationship to the team of freedom. Freedom can be defined as the ability to live without constraints, without having to submit to anyone else's authority. To be free is to be autonomous. It's having the ability to make choices. Art can sometimes seem like a realm of total freedom. We can draw a giraffe chewing gum or build a model of an Egyptian pyramid turned upside down. And yet, all around the world and across time, we have examples of artists forced to exile so they can have freedom to create. One need only to think of Pablo Picasso or Marc Chagall. Jean-Paul was taken by the idea of freedom from a very young age. Even with the scouts, he was nicknamed Toro la Liberté, Bull of Freedom. But it was only in the 1940s that Jean-Paul learned from his teacher, Paul-Emile Bordua, what freedom meant for an artist. Jean-Paul and his friends let their imagination run wild while they painted and became known as the Automatistes. In 1948, they wrote a manifesto called Refus Global, Total Refusal, criticizing a society that was trying to keep them shackled to tradition and expressing their need for freedom. For Jean-Paul, the decision had already been made. He left for France, a place where he truly felt free, in 1947. At the time, France was the international hub for a new generation of eager, inquisitive artists seeking change. Jean-Paul threw himself, heart and soul, into painting. In the 1950s and 60s, he replaced his paintbrush with a knife, discovering a whole new freedom of movement, an enthusiasm and a depth that became the defining characteristics of his famous mosaics. Jean-Paul's personal life was also defined by freedom. An experienced camper, he traversed Europe by motorcycle with his family. Throughout his life, whether it was behind the wheel of one of his beloved Bugattis or the helm of his sailboat, the Serica, traveling in Canada's Fort North or among the snow geese at Cap Tourmente, Riopel lived fully and freely.